Hey, it's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 15 uh, here at Westbridge Hills. Uh, almost said Minecraft. Uh, but this is not Minecraft, this is Farm Sim, so. Gonna get our uh, green hitter here if I can. Maybe do any cab be better. This thing's kind of squirrely a little bit when I press the gas down. Maybe I shouldn't press the gas down all the way. That's probably the problem. Maybe I should just lightly press it. All right, so we're going to get uh, him started on uh, our canola. We've got canola in 16, 15, 21, 20, and 19. Um, then we need to, after that, make some money. So We'll get him started on 15. I don't think he'll fill up before he gets to the end, since this is canola. So, I don't think he'll fill up. Oop, traffic. him out and go get our big guy. Love this bigger combine. A lot nicer to have that you know you don't you don't really realize how much just you know 2500 liters or 2000 liters is but and the uh, the speed of the combine you know you don't you don't you take for granted when you drive the smaller combines you know how much how much nicer these bigger ones are. And I was really excited to see that uh, most of the brands from this one, or all of them maybe, are coming back to, uh, to Farming Simulator. Uh, 17, so... We'll have a case uh, according to the trailers now. That's and and according to the website, so it is official, I guess you could say. Uh, they've listed the equipment that'll be available on uh, on the farming simulator website. So case will be will be making a comeback if you're a case fan. So and you know we we have case you know locally here. So I think that's probably the most uh, popular brand. You know other than a. Uh, <clears throat> certain you know green and yellow well-known company that uh, are holdouts uh, for farming simulator uh, they need to quit holding out you know they need to get on board here I mean people you know people that that play these games what they don't realize oh, I hit the sign oh they're gonna find me uh, people that play these games uh, or you know the simulators uh, especially, you know, the younger generation, you know, they they really get in. There's a lot of them really into this, uh, the farming stuff. And, you know, they're working with these brands. And what they don't realize is a lot of these little young guys, uh, young people are going to grow up to be farmers. Uh, you know, they're so interested in it. And uh, if they're not using your brand, uh, what brand do you think they're going to, what brand do you think they're going to pick? Uh, you know, they're going to use one that they, uh, that they have a, a, good, a lot of good memories with uh, playing the games, so. That's not the right button. There it is. So, yeah. I mean, it's like the, it's like back in the day, you know, it's like the kid that had the doctor kit. You know, the little play doctor kit uh, when he was little. He might have been grown up to become a doctor. Um, or the, the kid that had the little police set or, uh, you know, fireman set or something like that. Uh, a lot of kids grow up to to do uh, you know what they what they like doing, um, and I know there's a lot of young people out there that love farming simulator. A lot of them, big community out there. Um, and now you can mod it in on uh, PC, but it's it's not really the same as uh, something developed by uh, by giants, you know. Focus Home or. I guess it's giant software that does it, but uh, yeah, come on. Uh, we'll go ahead and say their name. Come on, deer. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah, 
And you know, they're they're holding out. I don't know why. I, I, I heard rumor that they had their own game or were going to have their own game. But uh, I've seen one of their games and it's not uh, it's not farm sim. We'll just put it that way. They need to get on board. So yeah, he made that pass. Uh, Mm, he might fill up before he gets back down to the end, but uh, maybe not. Yeah, he probably will. That's no problem. Uh, let me get this guy emptied. Actually, I need to get the big guy down. Out of the way here. Okay, now I can empty this guy. We'll see how much corn we got off of that corn harvest there. Whoop. I guess I just got right on the edge of where it tilts to the left or tilts to the to the rear. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What we got? So we got 142,000 off of that, and that was just those uh, those three northern fields. So that's not bad. All right, we'll get on this canola here now. It's all about the canola now. pipes out he's probably gonna fill up normally you know if I'm doing this field 15 in wheat or barley or corn I'll cut it in half I'll go down here right down to this uh, edge of 16 and just drive straight across from that and just cut this field in half and harvest it as two fields cut a mid row out Nope, not gonna drive on the crop and offload at the same time. Nope, 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 not gonna do it. I'm tempted to, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna wait till he stops. There we go. Alright, let's get this other one over on the other side to offload the big guy. Where is the big guy? Has he turned around yet? Yeah, it looks like he's starting to head back this way. Come on, tractor boogie. He's way up there. This is pipe out. This pipe is out. Ooh, we gotta hurry. This pipe came out faster than the other one did, but he has a wider head, so he's picking up. Uh, his rate of pickup is greater than that of the small harvester, and that just sounded like a eighth grade math teacher. So, But yeah, his rate is, I mean, the rate he's picking it up at is going to be greater because he has that larger head. And uh, you just get more crop with a larger head, so. Saw a lawnmower with a 60-inch deck on it. I was like, wow. You know, I'm used to like a 42-inch deck. I wouldn't mind having a zero-turn mower. That would be pretty cool. When I was in high school, I worked at uh, Sears and Roebuck. Or, well, it was just Sears, but it was still considered Sears and Roebuck. But uh, I got to uh, unload those lawn tractors, the Craftsman lawn tractors, off the uh, trailers and, and uh, put them together and drive them around. And I remember when they first came out with the, uh, the Craftsman Zero Turn. And uh, I drove it for the first time. 
that was uh, that was pretty interesting. Uh, got the crate off the truck, got it off the crate, got the crate away from it, and got it assembled. And usually there wasn't much to it. You just had to pop a pin and uh, maybe put the bars on or something or the steering wheel, uh, and then just put the seat on, which you know was not really a big task, but. The zero turn, yeah, I remember that first time I was in the back lot, and, um, you know, at, at Sears, they, some places, they drive their tractors, lawn tractors around and park them up front uh, for display, and uh, since this was a new product, it was going to be a display. Well, got on the tractor, started it up, uh, and now, mind you, I've never driven one of those before, I had no clue, so it was going to be a learning process, and let's just say there was, uh, some spinning uh, at first uh, but once I got the uh, controls figured out and down you know key word of advice those controls are kind of sensitive so don't press forward all the way on one until you know where the sensitivity lies just a good little tip of advice there uh oh get this guy out of the way But uh, yeah, I mean it. I learned really quick. I mean it. It wasn't that bad. Um, it was a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun to drive, um, and they definitely speed up the uh, amount of time um, that it takes to mow your yard. So. fun to drive those zero turns and you know someday <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have seen it or not but uh, Case has come out with an autonomous tractor that thing is weird looking I mean it looks like a I mean it looks like a drone it looks like a military drone or something looking at that thing so I said someday you know they'll come out with the uh, the lawnmowers that are like that that are autonomous that uh, mow your yard um, and that, you know, that, I don't know, that, that kind of worries me and it kind of doesn't because I know the big time farmers, they'll go for those autonomous tractors so they don't have to pay, you know, that's, that's a worker that they don't have to pay and, you know, they don't have to worry about, you know, what's going on, they can just manage it all right from a, uh, from a tablet. So, but what does that mean for the future of farm sim, guys? Are we going to get autonomous tractors too? That would be kind of cool I guess I mean you could control it from a little tablet on here I don't know there's just something about being in the in the vehicle though being inside the tractor or the combine that uh, I don't know it, it just makes it more fun him go here and I'm going to take this back up to the other end and I'll get the other tractor and get the other combine Okay, we'll stop him right about here. And wow, he's all the way down to the other end. I'm gonna have to possibly get back down there. Oh yeah. 
tell you what though, having two combines is really nice. They just chew through these fields, man. Look at this. A couple more passes and these will be done. This is black gold, y'all. It's not the Texas tea kind, but uh, it is black gold. This uh, canola is uh, most of the time has a good price for it. Now I think we we sold the last batch, so I don't know what the price is for it now. Uh, it's leveled off a little bit. It could be a little higher. Uh, when we uh, sell the wheat and barley, we've got over two hundred thousand, over three hundred thousand on the barley, but we have over two hundred on the wheat. When we sell that it should drive that price up so but I think we're gonna get back into the silage we'll sell some silage and uh, get into some stuff we want to get to, to get into I think we're gonna go ahead and do cows we've got plenty of fields here enough I mean we could do the baling on this field uh, that's another thing we need to buy is the balers uh, do the baling on this field and uh, Pick up the straw. Um, what else do they need for mixed ration? Oh, we got to do hay. And that means we got to grass in uh, those fields down there. So I tell you what. Excuse me, Hank Hill. I'll tell you what. Well, that's a bad Hank Hill impression. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. I don't know who that was. That was. Uh, that might have been uh, Hank Hill as a as a 12 to slash 13 year old, but uh, no, that that was terrible. I apologize for that. You know, Hank Hill. I I, I don't know if I do a Hank, good Hank Hill or not. I'm not even gonna try anymore after that. That was that was just really really sad. Um. But yeah, we need to grass in those fields down there, and uh, we need to sell. I guess we'll go ahead and sell the silage to make some money. Uh, we really need another field though. If we grass in, if we grass in 19 and 20, that takes away crops from those. Of course, we have those fields in the north we can use um, if we wanted to. I'm full or just not in the right spot? I'm full. Let's get him going here. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing at the task at hand though. But yeah, we we want we need another field. I really want 18 and 17. That's that's the next ones we're going to get. It's 18 and 17. Because we're going to plow that all together and make one big field. Hold on. We sell the silage. We'll see what we get into. Um, I could go ahead and cultivate these fields here, like 15, and plant corn. And we could do like a corn silage harvest off of it. And that might very well be what you know what we do. Uh oh, where's my small guy? Is he full? No, he's not full. I'm doing pretty good here now. Keeping up with him, keeping him, uh, keeping him offloaded here. So, Let's see, am I full on that? No, I'm not full on that one yet. But yeah, coming very soon, we'll be getting into the cows. Don't know when, but soon. Alright, so yeah, we're doing a pretty good job here. Uh, they're actually running pretty close. They're not that far off. Uh, the closer you get them, the more even you can keep it as far as, you know, keeping them offloaded. Now again, if this were weed or something like that, we would have to cut a mid row and do this as two fields but if you keep them going in the same direction and keep them almost you know somewhat the closer parallel you have them running together the better off you'll be at offloading them so we're, we're doing pretty good uh, you know evening it out here and they're going through this field quick so uh, it, it won't take long so we'll come back and finish up this field in the next episode and um, keep going with our harvest here got a pretty big one so until then, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade.